Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the vertex form of quadratic function. In the entire video, we'll be, you will be encountering quadratic function and we will convert that into the form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k or the vertex form of any quadratic function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is a given example wherein we are asked to rewrite y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 10 to the form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And this is the vertex form. Currently, this given quadratic function is in general form and we will convert this into this. Now, what are the things that you need to remember in this kind of situation? You need to remember or you need to be to master the completing the square. Kasi yun yung pinaka-importanting uh, process na kailangan natin gawin dito. Okay, so what is the first step? The first step is, first I will copy this one. y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 10. Now, Ang first step natin dito is to regroup the terms. We have x squared minus 4x minus 10. Ang kailangan natin dito i-group ay yung terms with the x variable separated with a constant. So it goes like this. You have your y is equal to the quantity of x squared minus 4x minus 10. As you can see, I separated this term and this term because they are the terms with the variable x compared to the constant. Now, ang target kasi natin dito si in this x squared minus 4x to, is to make it a perfect square trinomial. Remember, nung, nag, nung completing the square tayo, ang hinanap natin is another term that will make this binomial a perfect square trinomial. So, anong gagawin natin dito? We have the formula b over 2 squared. Here, in x squared minus 4x, our b is negative 4. So that is negative 4 over 2 squared. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 and then square it. As you can see, the answer is 4. This is now the constant that we will put here. Okay? So what we have here is y is equal to the quantity of x squared minus 4x and then plus plus 4. This plus 4, it came here. Kasi kailangan natin maging perfect square trinomial para magkaroon tayo nitong x minus h squared. And then minus 10. And ang gagawin natin dito is we will put here minus 4. So let me explain Bakit meron tayo dito minus 4? Remember, uh, kapag tayo nagko-complete the square, di ba nag-add tayo ng 4? So for example, 4. Sa right side, dapat meron din tayong plus 4 on the left side. But, pag nilipat natin dito yung plus 4 sa kabila, it will become negative 4. That's why meron tayo dito negative 4. And another reason bakit meron tayo minus 4 dito, kasi to negate this plus 4. Kasi pag mag plus 4 lang tayo, so for example, from this equation into this equation, ang mangyayari, this equation or this function is different from this function kapag plus 4 lang. Kapag meron tayong plus minus 4 here, parang nag-add tayo ng, ng 0 lang. Kasi 4 minus 4 is 0. And this function is the same as this function. Okay? So, continue natin. Since we already have this trinomial, or perfect square trinomial, we can express this like this one. So you have y is equal to square of binomial, that is x minus 2 squared. Paano natin nakuha yan? Get the square root of this, that is x. The square root of 4 is 2. Copy the middle sign, ito yan. Put your exponent here. Then simplify this. Negative 10 minus 4 is negative 14. And as you can see, they look like the same. Ito na yung mismong ating sagot. 
Now, ano yung importance sa to? When you know how to transform a quadratic function into vertex form, madali mo makukuha yung values ng a, h, and k. And these letters, a, h, and k, are essential in graphing quadratic function. So, try natin identify. Here, yung ating a, nandito siya sa labas, invisible, that is 1. Yung ating namang h and k, yung h and k natin, uh, those serves as the vertex or the coordinates of the vertex. Yung pinakatip ng parabola. So dito, ang h natin, di ba, h and k, h comma k. Kunin mo lang yung additive inverse na to. If this is negative 2, sure h, that would be positive 2. And as for the k, kung nakita nyo number dito, as is na yan, which is negative 14. So I hope guys na nakuha nyo yung way natin on how to write a quadratic function into its vertex form. In the next part of our video, I will give you another example for you to master this kind of topic. Now let's move on with item number 2. We are asked here to convert y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 to y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. Now, the difference here, the difference of this example from our previous example is that dito, the coefficient of the quadratic term is 2. Dito naman, we don't have, which is 1 lang siya. So, medyo may iba ng konti ating process. Pero, halos yun din, din naman. So, what we need to do here is to regroup first. So, we have y is equal to the quantity of 2x squared minus 4x plus 4. After regrouping it, regroup natin ano, ah, yung terms with x variable, i-factor out natin yung value ng a. Okay? Factor out natin for these two terms. So, it will become y is equal to 2. Ilabas natin yung 2 times 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. The negative 4x divided by 2, that is minus 2x, and then plus 4. So let me repeat the process. Filactor at natin yung, yung value ng a. To get this, 2x squared divided by 2, x squared. Negative 4x divided by 2 is negative 2x. So what's next here is gagawin natin tong perfect square trinomial. Again, using the formula negative, oh sorry, b, b over 2 squared. Ang b natin is negative 2, so that is negative 2 over 2 and then squared. So what we have here is negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, then squared, and the answer is positive 1. Ito ngayon yung lalagay natin dito. So we have y is equal to 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 to make it a perfect square trinomial. Then, plus 4. Ngayon, kung babalikan natin itong ating first example, remember ha, babalik ko lang ng konti. Nag-add tayo ng 4, we subtracted 4 here para maging 0 siya. In this case, baka isipin nyo, since nag-plus tayo ng 1 dito, we need to subtract here a 1. Hindi po. If meron tayo dito ang coefficient that is greater than 1, para malaman mo kung ano ilalagay mo dito, this term, multiply to this coefficient. So, 1 times 2, that is equal to 2, pero minus 2. Ilalagay natin. How did we get 2 instead of 1? Hindi siya 1, ha? 1 times 2. That is 2 pero minus to make it 0. And then, ito, express natin ni bilang square of binomial. You have your y is equal to 2 times square root nito. x squared tong 1 is 1 minus kasi minus to. Then squared 4 minus 2 is plus 2. And this is now the vertex form. Ngayon, if you want to identify your a, 
your A is equal to 2, the vertex HK is 1 and 2. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video and as part of our routine, guys, I want you to convert this function y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1 into the vertex form. Comment your sa, sa ating video, what is your answer here? So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!